Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, it's Dave with Crackberry.com. We're here at Wes 2010. We're here with Mitch with Boxtone. He's going to give us a little overview of what Boxtone has to offer us. Sounds great. So what Boxtone does is help enterprises manage their BlackBerry deployment. We can look across a BlackBerry deployment of any size, look at all of their beds across multiple domains, domino exchange, and give them a view in the health of the whole environment. And you can see on the dashboard here we're showing the health and availability of each server. So we look at every message as it goes from the mail server to the bez, the bez out to the knock and down of the device. And even on the device, we can tell when's the message read, were there any problems with the device, are there any issues with the device that are causing health. And so you can see if there was a problem here, something would jump up. But if I look at the health of an individual user, I'll take a quick look at myself here. This is kind of what a help desk worker would do. I'd call in and say I have a problem. I'll do a search. I can put my email address, phone number in, and bring back on what's going on with my device. Sean, can you, can you send me a message? So you can see everything looks healthy here. Um, but I actually just turned my device off, and that'll show up in a second. You can see the recent mail flow that'll show up in here. I haven't received a lot of messages, uh, but everything will pop in here and show you what's going on. It's tuned very simple for the help desk to show what's going on with the user. So here's all the messages that have gone down to my device. As new messages come in, they'll start to queue up there. Because I turn my device off, that message will sit right there. As Sean's typing me a device, so you can see a message went from the mail server to the bez and is sitting on the bez wait, waiting to get to my device. But because my device is off, it's not going to come through. I turn my antenna back on. And as that message comes through, everything should update within Box. And you can see, like I said, we're looking at every little hop there. You can see that message is pending. This is a pretty simple problem, right? The antenna was off. But what we try to do is actually figure out anything that's wrong with the bez, the mail server, the carrier, anything that impacts that service quality of the user. So we're looking and saying, BlackBerry is mission critical. Are there any issues affecting the user? Let's make sure they can get all of their work done. You can see that message came right through, cleared out. You can see it went relatively quickly, but it actually took time to get out of my device because my device was off. It did that pretty quickly. Uh, normally, it would tell you any of the problems are here, anything that's going on. If we tell you about a problem here, you can actually give you buttons to click and fix those problems right from the console. So what we're structured to do is help both a Bez admin fix all the problems, whether user level or up at the server, or contact the carrier to deal with the carrier problem, or help the help desk in a very simple view solve the problems themselves. We also have a user self-service console walks them through all the details there and makes it very simple for an end user as well. Now Mitch, will the um, software, if, like that message that didn't get delivered, it was pending, mm -hmm. Are you able to tell from the console why it didn't get delivered, whether it was a carrier problem or a device either off or out of coverage? Uh, we can. What happens is uh, for a device to go out of coverage, it takes about 15 minutes. So what happens is the rim knock will actually mark the device out of coverage, and then we'll pick that up and mark the device out of coverage. Uh, I didn't prep in time, so I just turned it off, yeah. uh, but we would have shown it out of coverage there. Okay. Uh, so but actually, it will show you if there's a carrier issue, too. You guys tied into that? Yep. And what we do is, because we're looking at every message to every user, it's hard to tell a carrier issue from a single user, but we actually know what's normal for an environment at every point in time. So let's say normally 15% of your users on T-Mobile are out of coverage, right? Because they're roaming or they turn the device off at night. Some people still do that, don't really get it. But, you know, whatever the case may be, we'll notice and say, hey, well now 40 or 60 or 80% of your users on T-Mobile are out of coverage. There looks to be a problem with that carrier. Or we can look and say 80% of your users on mail server 123 are having an issue. They've got messages backing up. So it looks to be a problem with that mail server. And then dive down and actually figure out what's wrong with that mail server. So we can look at all of the various components because we're watching each one of those messages go through all of those hops. We can isolate where the problem is. And you can go back and look at a full history of all of the issues. So you can actually see um, what happened to me last night. Uh, I was having some issues. We had some issues with our internal environment last night. So you can see the full history of what was going on there. You can scroll back and actually look. This one I was flying into was, uh, I was out of coverage. So you can see the full time I was out of coverage there. And then we aggregate all this up. This is kind of a troubleshooting view, but you can start looking at this from an expense perspective. Uh, where are my users roaming? When are they out of coverage? We track data usage. So uh, some of our international friends, when they're traveling around, data usage uh, while roaming can be quite an expense. Uh, we can give you a sense of that. In real time, you can make decisions about whether you want to reallocate their plans, change services, and limit their functionality. Are you able to tell um, if somebody when, how much data somebody is using, like if they roam? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, apologize. I didn't prep all this. Let's see. I'm 
bring back a, 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 a saved version of a report, but I can run all these reports anytime I want. Uh, so what I'm looking at here, blow it up a little bit for you. Uh, I can run this for a specific business unit, or I can run it for my whole group. So I ran it for my Boxstone group in this case, and I see a summary of what's going on: how many BlackBerry users I have, how many ActiveSync users. Some are owned by the company, some are owned by employee themselves. And I see some summary of how things are changing over time, and then I can drill down and see the individual users. And for each user, I can see uh, what carriers have they roamed on, and how much during this time period. I can run this for a week, a month, a year. Uh, how much time have they spent roaming, how much data have they used in that time period while home, and how much data have they used while roaming. So we keep that in real time, but then we aggregate it up and let you do reporting on it. Uh, and then you can associate a cost with this. So a lot of our customers will actually send this back out to the various business units as a way to bill expense back. So IT is now treating uh, the business units like a customer and essentially sending them an invoice and saying, you owe me $75 for providing Ashwap, in this case, mobile service. We're then going further and actually looking now that the data is being used and saying, trying to associate that with applications, understanding what's going on with those applications. How is all this working for the user? Very good. And that is a brief overview of what Boxtone has to offer.